Video 2, Health and Safety, Video 2. Students, as you know that in the previous video, we have covered our lesson Health and Safety. In previous lesson, we have learned different rules and good habits through which we can keep our body healthy and safe. So today we are going to do the exercise part. Before we move forward, have a look on the key points to revise our previous lesson. Number one is, our body is like an amazing machine and we should take care of it. Number two, it needs healthy food, exercise and proper rest. Number three, we should take care of our bodies and we should stay safe. Now let's start our exercise number two. In this exercise, we have five questions. And now we are going to discuss each question in detail. The first question is, what do our muscles need in order to work? To answer this question, you can open your science book, Unit 2, Health and Safety, and you can write your answer from page number 9. Students, your answer can be, our muscles need healthy food and exercise in order to work. Question number two is, why should we not tease animals? Remember, I have told you earlier in the video one that we should not tease animals because they can harm us, they can kick, scratch, or bite us. To answer this question, you just have to open your book, page number 11, and you can find your answer very easily. Now, question number three is, why is it important to wash our hands before eating? Washing our hands before eating something is helpful to keep us safe from germs. When you eat without washing your hands, germs on your hands can be transferred to your mouth and you can become sick. Now I hope you can write your answer in your own words. Now question number four is, how might loud sounds harm us? Students, Loud sounds can damage our ears. It can cause hearing loss. Hearing loss means that you can't hear properly. So we should not hear loud sounds or loud music and we should not shout in anyone's ear as well. Now you are able to answer question number four. Let's move towards question number five, which is the last one. And question number five is, in what ways is an electric kettle dangerous? Remember, I have told you some safety rules in video one. I have told you not to go near a stove or boiling water and stay away from electrical appliances. So, Electric kettle can be dangerous for us. You have to write the answer as you like. And we are done with exercise number two. Let's move towards exercise number three. Look at this picture. What can you see in the picture? Yes, you can see different dangers in a city. You can see that along the road, some construction work is going on. So people need to be careful on the road. We must follow the traffic rules to stay safe. 
and we should not be in hurry because it might cause an accident. Students, we can see the cautionary signs and instructions written on the board which help us to follow directions that are for our safety. Like we can see two cautionary boards on the road. So by following traffic rules and regulations, we can save ourselves from any accident. We can also see that there is a crowd on the road and all are busy in their work and no one is bothering what's going on around them. Now students, what you have to do? You have to see this picture carefully and you have to tell two or three dangers you can see in the picture. And we are done with an exercise number three. Now I have some fun activities for you. You can open your science book, page number 16, and it is activity number one. Look at the numbered parts of the skeleton. Place the numbers in the correct places on the drawing of the body. Now let's place the number in the correct places. Students, look at the picture. Which number it has? Number 1. And which part is this? Leg bone. So I will place this number here. What is this? ribs, spine, and hip bone. And it has number two. So I will place number two here. Okay, what is this? It's an arm bone, and it has number three. So I will place here. What is this? Yes, it is also an arm bone, and it has number four. So I will place number four here. Look at this picture. What are these? Yes, these are toe bones. And this picture has number five. So I will place number five here. This is skull bone. And it has number six. So I will place number six here. And number seven, these are also toe bones. So I will place number seven here. The last number is eight and it is a leg bone. So I will place number eight here and we are done with our activity. Now let's do our activity number three on page number 17. What are these parts of the body? Unjumble the letters to find the correct answer. So look at the first word. G, L, U, N, S. What can it be? Brain? No, because we cannot see B in this word. Lungs, L, U, N, G, S, correct. We will write lungs here. The next one is R, E, A, T, H. What can it be? Heart, Skeleton, brain, joint, yes, it's heart. You will write here, heart. Next one is N O T L -E, e K S, yes, skeleton. So we will write here skeleton. Next one is R I N A 
B. What can it be? Yes, it's a brain. So you will write here a brain. The last one is T I J O M. Yes, it's a joint. We will write here a joint. And we are done with activity number three. And I have last activity for you on page number 17. Students, now you have to make this sign and you have to color in it. Safety first. Now let me tell you what does it mean. Whenever we are doing something, we have to take all safety precautions. Students, at the end of the lesson, I have some homework for you. You have to open your science book, Unit 2, Health and Safety, page number 14. Exercise number 1. Choose the correct answer. You have to read all the statements and then choose the correct answer. You can tick or circle your answer. Exercise number two, answer these questions. As we have discussed these five questions in detail, so you have to write answers of all five questions as your home task. You can write your answers on rough registers or you can also use loose sheets. Exercise number four on page number 15. Choose the correct word from the brackets to fill in the blank. Students, you have four statements in this exercise. You have to read carefully and you have to choose your answer from the brackets given with each statement. And you have to write your answer in the blank. Here is a worksheet for you. You can make this worksheet on any white paper with the help of your elders. There are two questions in the worksheet. In question number one, you have to write the healthy foods you eat in the right column and your good habits in the left column. In question number two, you have to write five safety rules as we have discussed some safety rules in video one. I hope now you can complete your home assignment very easily. Now I'm going to show you the answer key of your home task. You can match your answers and you can check. If there is any mistake, you can correct that mistake. Hope you like the video.